everybody welcome to my channel and another new video about walnut crafts it's summer time and in one month yummy walnuts will come over to the market again you probably know how you can cut a walnut shell in half but well if you don't know just check out my walnut series i explain it completely so in today's video we try to make some animals with a walnut shell Let's call it animal walnut craft or whatever you like. Just grab your stuff and come over here to make something new. First of all, we should color the shells. I'm using gouache this time, but any kind of colorful pigment are invited today. It depends on which kind of animal you want to make. You can use any color that you love. Here, I already made an alligator and a turtle, so it means two different types of green I used. Now what we need is some hands, feet and head, or maybe a tail. I'm making a green frog, so I need hands and feet, a head and a long long tongue. So I only draw a shape of frog's hand, then with my scissor cut it out carefully. Then we need a frog's head. As you see I'm drawing without pattern and you should do it too. Just keep remembering it in your mind that you know how to draw deep in your heart and you never need to copy someone else's pattern. After that, we need a long long tongue. She need her time for hunting flies. So make sure that you are using good materials for her tongue. Also, the tongue must be curly. I'm using my pen to give a curly form to my frog's tongue. Next step is gluing. I'm using hot glue, but if you are under 18 or not happy to burn your hands, I don't recommend it at all. I personally burnt my fingers so many times and it's not fun, it's painful. With two green beads, I would make her beautiful shiny eyes. My frog is ready and it's time to make a friend for her. What else better than a goldfish? I would show it in fast speed motion because you already know the way. Alright, here is other creatures that I made today, an alligator, fish, frog and a turtle. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if yes, please give me a big thumbs up and comments down below, because that helps me a lot. Love you always and see you next time.